Hey everybody, welcome to Review Time with Islip. I'm Islip, and today we are checking out the X Transbot Bulwark, which is a masterpiece take on Bulkhead. So it's it's a masterpiece take on a G1 Bulkhead, basically. So um, let's just get into it. He turns into whatever kind of truck this is supposed to be. It's a pretty it's it's a pretty militaristic looking truck, and it's based on their uh, grapple and inferno mold, basically. So it still has some of the carryovers, like these stabilizers that would come down and kind of raise the truck up off the ground so that it's not on its wheels when it's in uh, it for hook. So, or grapple, I mean, so that when he's doing his crane thing, his truck isn't going to slide because these stabilizers come down. Now, they're difficult to bring down. They do come down. They are, they have these little sliders that slide them down, but there are two problems with it. One, it's really, really, is a really, really tight slider. And the second thing is that these little bits here pop right off. So I'm not even going to bother doing it. It's not, it doesn't make any sense for this vehicle mode, but there's that. It's got rubber tires, so it rolls on that. And uh, the doors do open. I think that's more for transformation than anything, but they do open up. And, oh, I didn't even notice that before. There are little seats in there. So there's a little seat on that side. And provided I can get enough light, you can't see it. There is a steering wheel on the other side. Let me see if I can get this door open. Maybe we can... Shed some lights on there. I didn't even notice that, but there's... A little dash right right there there's a little dashboard so it's set up like a real truck that's actually pretty cool um, I doubt that you can get any of the masterpiece figures in there uh, if you did you'd never be able to get them back out again because the legs wouldn't go in I mean you could pop the legs off and put them in there and then he'd have a little driver and that would be pretty interesting zoom back zoom back there we go so, yeah, there's that. Before we go any further, I will bring in, let's park him in one of these bays. I'll bring in MP10 so you can get an idea of his size. So his truck cab is a little bit smaller. I don't know if that's actually accurate to the uh, actual model of truck this turns into. Um... Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I know as far as the G1 toys were concerned, this is roughly close to what the scale was between the toys. So let's turn him sideways and we'll put Optimus on top so you can kind of get a better idea. So yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of here. And uh we will be back with the transformation. Oh, before I forget, because of this case here, uh, you can store the vehicles. You can store the vehicles. You can store the robot's weapon inside, which is what I uh, actually did. So, first thing you want to do is just kind of take this and get the weapon out. And you can see bulkheads, bulky bulk head right here so at first it it, it 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 made me like why did they do that and then i remembered why because this transformation is actually very much in keeping with the g1 transformation for this style of truck and when you transformed it the head was always at the back and then it came over either it was a ladder or the crane part whatever came over and then rested on top of the cab here so um yeah, so we're going to do that and unpeg all of that that gets unpegged and we will work on this later. We're going to leave this here for now. We'll work on everything else because this is going to become the backpack, which um, I both appreciate it and kind of hate it. Um, 
but bulkhead had a backpack at least in the uh animated universe he had a backpack so um i, I can appreciate that so we want to go ahead and take these panels on each side and loosen them out and then what do we want to do we are going to work on what's going to be the leg so we'll go ahead and oh, move these pieces here so you can get the hands out when you bring the legs down you can go ahead and split them apart and get all of this to come So this is easier to do when you're not trying to do it on camera because you don't have to worry about keeping everything within frame. So, um, yeah, definitely much easier to do. Why can't I get, why can't I get this other hand out? Sorry. Am I zoomed out or am I zoomed? Okay, I'm zoomed out. Ooh, that is quite stuck in there. Why are you stuck in there? You shouldn't be, you should be able to come right out. Hmm. Give me a second. All right. I figured out what happened. Uh, there's a little, a little notch here that kind of sort of gets stuck over here. So just keep that in mind. So we've got that going on. We're going to swing all of this down this piece here plugs together so we've got that done so now we're going to work on the feet and the legs so what you're going to do is uh, flip those and then flip this flat and you're going to flip this down like so and then this you're going to flip that flat and then you're going to push the feet, not the feet, the wheels, push them down or in this case up like this. Okay, so and then just bring that down and you got the feet done. As far as the legs, this piece was like this. You're going to bring it over and rotate this bit so that it's facing this way. And then when you put it in, it's going to go around here. Let's move the feet out a little bit. So. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I forgot. Also, this little bit here, you have to flip that up if you don't already have it up. So make sure you flip that up and then you can, there we go. See, see how easy that was? When you're not being stupid, Peter, that's me. Uh, and then this goes like that. So this will be like this and you're just gonna flatten it out against the leg and then this will come around and this will go over the back of the foot, or back of the leg like that. And now that's one leg done. We'll come around to the other side and we will do the same thing. So make sure this is up, make sure that you take this piece here and fold it over and make sure that the little little lip area here folds, folds up and then you just close it like that. Put that down like that, fold that like that and you've got the other leg done and now we can move on to the upper body. So, Thankfully, his feet and his legs are heavy and stable enough that even half transformed, he will stand pretty well. And that's something you don't have to worry about with this guy. He is very stable. So what you want to do is usually you can open these doors. Sometimes you can just go ahead and do the next step without opening the doors. It'll open automatically, but make it easier. Open these doors like this. You're gonna take this piece here and rotate it, and then you have to flex it past here. I don't like that, but um, hey, 
it is what it is and then do the same thing on the other side make sure that you angle this so it's like that and then when you bring it over it will go where it's supposed to go and then close the doors on both sides and you've got the upper arms done and then you just take the fists and just close them over close them over the openings there so now we come to the most fiddliest part it's not horrible none of this transformation is actually horrible um, and for the amount of stuff you do it's not that difficult this is nowhere near like revenge of the fallen optimus prime uh craziness or fans toys craziness it's a little difficult but it's not it's probably like a six maybe maybe a seven not nothing higher than that so what you want to do is you want to push down here i find it if you push down and then push backwards your backdrop falls down falls down so like i was saying when you when you go to push that that way push it down first and then go like that because sometimes it is a, a slight little lip sticking up here and it catches on there so and then that goes back like that and now here comes the fun part let's move this over here so we can focus on this part here so uh, this is going to be a little weird because so we're going to go ahead and pop these flat and this will also come flat and then we are going to what are we going to do next i believe we take these and fold them up like so do the same thing on the other side sorry take this separate it fold this over like so and it'll peg in there's a little uh, should have shown that first I don't know if you can see there's a little kind of hole and there's a little rectangular peg and it just pegs together it pegs together there we go and then we are going to do split this I can split all of this now and this we will bring bring this over here this has to flip back that way like so and then yeah so let's do it again so it'll be like this you're going to, well, it'll be like this you're going to flip this all the way around carefully because you don't want to stress and break anything and at the same time you can fold this panel down and that's that part and Let's do the same. Oh, and then hold on. And then we'll do this has to come up like this. And that I believe we just fold that over like so. So that's that. Let's let's get the other side. Take this, fold it over. Like that, and then this piece folds over like this. So that you have this little square piece facing out and make sure you flip this piece open okay and then this we have to rotate this and fold this up like this and then there's a rectangular peg here that will go into a little slot there and you do that on the one side right Am I not getting this correctly? There we go. On the one side. And this comes out like this. This goes down and around the sides here. So we're going to do that again. We'll worry about the, the head in a minute. Let's get the backpack done. So let's bring this up. Slot it in. Bring that up. And that's why we have this open. Because when we fold this down we fold it down it's going to go around the back of the backpack so okay so then we've got it like this and let's get his 
everything back together. His, I don't have his back thing situated correctly. Let's see. Alrighty. So, you just have to make sure that all of this whole thing is folded up like this and like, like that. And then this will go... Stick his head in to where it's supposed to go. And then this goes up and then my backpack comes down. Come on. I can do this. I've done it a few times. Why am I having issues? I'm having issues because I'm on a camera. Ooh, and I'm out of practice. This is what happens. Out. There we go. We'll work on that. We'll, we'll finish this off in a minute. So now let's get this all situated. And this has its own way that you fold it. Fold it up. Let's see if I can get it the first time. That has to go through there. And then this comes up. And I figured out the problem. So when you're putting it together, you have to put it together on the inside of this area here. I was putting it together on the outside and let's see if I'm correct. And now it should be able to go in, right? Okay. There we go. That was the problem. I was doing things on the wrong side so and this should fold up there we go all right and we've got the backpack where it's supposed to be and this this can go up like so right yeah and once I got the backpack done correctly so we got we got everything almost done let's see go like this And then these come forward. No, actually you fold these down so that let's put this over here. So let's see, this square tab will hook on to this square peggish thing. And as you're doing that, you will fold this forward and peg it in. And that is one side of his backpack done. And then we will do the same thing on the other side. Pick it in. That's the other side of his backpack done. There we go. And peg his head back in where it's supposed to go. Sometimes that comes back out. He usually does it, but there we go. And now we are done. Uh, okay, let's pull it back a bit. He's a bit tall, so we're gonna push him back a bit. He's a tall boy. But that is Bulwark in his robot mode. Let's bring it up a little bit. You can see all the details. His jaw does move. Unfortunately, it doesn't go down any further than that. But it does go up, so he can cover his nose or look like he's wearing a mask or he's a robot duck. So there's that, and sometimes that will come out. There we go. When you're messing with it, but you can see now it's staying. Uh, yeah, he looks okay. He looks okay. I wish this area here would have been bulked out a little bit more, and I wish his legs would have been... A little shorter to be more in line with every single one of his previous characters um, but 
is not bad at all. Uh, he has a lot of articulation. His arms can move 360. Just gotta watch out for this stuff there. They go in and out. Uh, they do move forward and backwards a little bit. There's a rotation at the where the shoulder and the bicep meets. He has double jointed arms. His head rotates, looks up, looks a little down. His waist rotates. His little flaps move to get out of the way of posing his legs, which are really strong for as heavy as they are. That only moved a little bit and they go back that far. They bend straight on down and his feet has forward and back all of this so if you wanted to you could use this to make him taller if you wanted to but he's a pretty tall bot as it is and his neck is coming undone again and that's going to happen a lot because there is quite a bit of weight on the back here so that is an, an unfortunate side effect of this uh backpack um he has before i forget his door still open his windows here in his windows his mirrors they rotate around to however you want to put them and uh they they're just clipped onto these these bars they pop right off just like his head likes to do um his wrists rotate and his fingers are individually pinned at the knuckle and his arm keeps opening you'll see why in a second so he's got typewriter fingers and then his pointer finger kind of points, but not quite. And it, it also moves a bit. His thumb is on a ball joint. So he's got a decent range of motion. And uh, there is, oh, I forgot, I forgot a transformation step. Actually there's two of them, but. So here this peg flips down, but because it's so uh, honestly hard to get back out again without help, why are you doing this now? There we go. Without getting like a, a tool or something, I just leave it out. It, it You hardly notice it there, to be honest with you. Um, and then his arms here, these are actually supposed to be folded away. Um, I think this is left over from the fire engine mode, but I can't really honestly tell you. I have no idea what they do because his hands are underneath the canopy, so... Uh, in, in robot mode so you don't really see it but I think that's a holdover from from that um, he does have or if you open up his fists here uh, hold on if you open this up here and you can slide out and it's very difficult to do but you can uh, slide out this gun and then his fist does go into if you turn it the right way this one this way. One of these ways goes in. You fold that up, and then he's got the I don't know a gun weapon for his hand. His other arm does the exact same thing. Uh, it is like the front part is on a spring. If you want to put it away, you put it down, and then you twist it to keep it as such, and then good luck getting the hands back out there we go and then slide it back fold this over and you're good to go and then we can get his gun and we can put it in one of his hands it does peg in let me uh let me fix this where's the there it is come on open Damn it, open! Yeah. It does have a little masterpiece kind of notch thing going on there. Um, oh, it's at the top of the hand. So, get it in there and it pegs in pretty good. You put his fingers around it and it's pretty good. It doesn't wobble. He holds it really good. Uh. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a good workout with this guy because his uh, his his uh, joints are all tight. I don't know. Do I have any loose ones? Uh, it's slightly loose going back and forth, but that's because of the weight. But really, it's not like the ratchets hold a bit. You know, you gotta really shake them for them to come out. So let's go ahead and get a size comparison going. And I just knocked this gun out. We'll move him back. And here we have the Transform Element Optimus Prime. And he is almost as tall as that Optimus Prime. So he's about, honestly, he's about the size of MP10. Which I don't have to hand in robot mode. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Go ahead and get this out of here. Hey, there we go. And we'll go ahead and get Blaster in the mix. So you can see he is pretty tall. I have um, I have the original bulkhead, but I don't know exactly where I put him. I have, one day I'm gonna show you my room. It is ridiculous how much stuff I have in this tiny little space. So um, that's it, yeah. This was X Transbots Bulwark. I think it's uh, up for $99 now on TF TF Source as part of their uh, customer week, customer appreciation week, or it was. I don't know if it still is. It was uh, yesterday. Um, so what day is today? Today is August 23rd. It's August 23rd, so if I post this up before August 25th, uh, rush over there and get your get your bulwark figure if you are inclined to do so. I like this figure, so I got him. If you don't like him, don't get him. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not sorry that I got him. I'm glad I got him. He doesn't really fit into my he doesn't fit my uh, collection that well. I have to make kind of a new collection because, like, the body fits in but the head just does not fit because it's it's prime universe aesthetic on the G1 body so I mean it looks good to me but it's I don't know so I, if I get catch a, get enough I might actually stick them with my R.I.D. Optimus and uh, one of my third party bumblebees I think that would actually look pretty decent as sort of a an updated animated uh, universe thing. That's it on my slip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, ciao.